Good morning, yoga friends. I'm so glad you're here today with me. Let's start by bringing our special and our kind hands together. So in this hand, we have something that's special, something we're really good at doing, something we love to do, something we're learning to do, um, you know, something we're not that good at, but we just enjoy doing it. It makes us special. And in this hand, it's something that we do for others that's kind. When we help somebody, we talked about, when we help our environment, the earth, those are kind things to do. And when we put those two things together, special and kind, we see that I have something special and kind and you have something special and kind. So let's put those hands together and let's greet each other by saying Namaste. The special and kindness in me sees the special and kindness in you. I'm so glad that we're all here today with our unique, special, kind selves. All right, now to get our mind and our bodies ready for yoga, we're going to take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Good job. Big breath in and out. One more time, friends. Big breath in and big breath out. Beautiful job. So we have something special, we have something kind. Our bodies and our minds are focused. We have a space where there's nothing behind us in case we roll back. We're comfortable. And we can begin. So our book today is called How I Became a Pirate by Melinda Long. How I Became a Pirate. Let's see. Look at that. He has a sword and a hat. Look. What is he making? Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day when I was at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view. I knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbones on it and because I could hear the pirates singing, hey ho, blow the man down. They were a little off key. This is the skull and the bones that were on the flag. See what we're gonna do for this page. All right, my friends, we are going to do our sand castle pose. So the first pose we're doing the sand castles, we're gonna stand up and we're going to take our legs apart, nice and wide, and then we're gonna bend our knees and then we're gonna lift our hands up. And this part, one, two, three, is the castle part just like in our book here. One, two, three. All right, so here we go. Big breath in and out. Bend in and out. Good job, big breath in, stand up. Big breath out. You guys can sit back down. I'm gonna show you the next page. I tried to call dad, but he was busy building up the beach umbrella. I tried to tell mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle, but I kept an eye on that pirate ship. By then, they were rowing to shore. There they are. <gasps> All right, we're gonna set up that beach umbrella. So, a beach umbrella right now, he's setting it up so it looks like this. So we're gonna do that with our body and our downward dog. All right, so we're gonna come into our downward facing dog. Big breath in and out and in. Good job, and sit back down. 
nice and comfy. I wonder what those pirates are gonna do next. <gasps> Coming to shore. There they are. With a parrot on his shoulder. When they landed, the head pirate climbed on out of the boat and yelled, Oh, is that our mighty? Be this the Spanish main? No, I said. This is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. Uh-oh, they're lost. They're pirates that are lost at sea. All right, so we're going to be the parrot squatting on the pirate's shoulder. So we're gonna come into our squat and we're gonna sit like this and we're gonna go big breath in and out. Now, sometimes parrots like to repeat what we say. So let's say Polly want a cracker, ready? Polly want a cracker, big breath in. And you can use your best parrot voice and go, Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Good job. And then we sit all the way back down and let's see what is going to happen. They don't seem like mean pirates. He walked around my sandcastle. He looked at the moat, then yelled back to the crew, he's a digger he is, and a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, matey? The head pirate asked. Jeremy Jacob, sir, I told him. All right, let's see what are they gonna do. All right, so he is a, actually, before we do the digging part, I noticed something on this page, a soccer ball. Let's roll out our backs a little bit by being a soccer ball. So we're gonna bring our feet as close to our bodies as possible. And we're gonna take a big breath in, nice and tall, and then we're gonna roll backwards. Now, if that doesn't work for your body, you put your hands down and take a big breath in and you go. Let's try two more, whichever way is more comfortable for you. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. Excellent. A good one to boot. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braybeard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We've a chest of treasure to bury. Oi, treasure, the other shouted. You're coming with us, Braybeard told me. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind as long as I got back in time for a soccer practice the next day. All right. He's coming with them because he's such a good digger. So we are going to dig. So we're gonna take our shovels and we're gonna take a big breath in and we're gonna breathe out. Ready, in and out, come up. Dig and in and out. Dig, throw that sand over your head. Big breath in and out. One more. And out, and sit back down. That's how I became a pirate. There he is in a little boat going to the ship. And they're rowing the boat. So we're going to come back to our mat. And we are going to row our boats so we can get in our boat and we're going to row big breath in and out and in and out. Now, if you can, you can bring up one foot or two feet and try it. Big breath in and out and in. Going 
into the ship. As soon as we were on board, Braidbeard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Got to find a safe place for this here treasure. It's a high time we're off, he announced. We're off, we all shouted. And then we set sail. There they go. On to their adventure to bury the treasure. All right, so he's got a treasure box full of treasure. So we're going to come onto our bellies and we're gonna lift up one leg and reach for it. Stretch it out nice and tall, big breath in. And out, now let's try the other side. Big breath in and out. Excellent, now we're gonna reach for both feet. We're gonna look ahead of us, we're gonna take a big breath in and out. Excellent, let's try one more big breath in and out. Beautiful. And then come back up and sit comfortably on your mat. They're off. There they go to find a place to bury the treasure. There was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing chanties, the louder the better, and to say real pirate stuff like Len Lubber and Scurvy Dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Braidbeard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, down the hatches, me ladies. Or laddies, sorry, down the hatches, me laddies. Down the hatch, we all shouted. Braidbeard gulped his food and said, hand over the meat, the meat, we all roared. Nobody told us to finish our spinach, there wasn't any, or to chew up our carrots, they weren't allowed on board. We talked with one another with our mouths full and nobody said please or thank you. Wow, they're just gobbling their food up. They aren't even using forks or knives or anything. So we're gonna gobble up our food. Get your plate of food and you're just gonna reach and gobble. <laughs> They don't even use napkins to wipe their faces or their hands. So once you've eaten, we're just gonna leave that mess right on there. That's what they do. Down the hatches. After dinner, I tried to teach them to play soccer. Braidbeard kicked the ball and yelled, Arg, soccer! Arg, soccer, the crew yelled. Then everybody dove for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, my hearties, Braidbeard commanded. After it? We all whispered. They don't want to go after it. There's a shark in the water. We fought over who would go get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. So much for soccer. Uh-oh, there goes the soccer ball. All right, my friends, we're going to come back on our bellies and we're gonna be that shark. So here is the shark spin behind us. Bring your hands behind you, feet together, and you're gonna take a big breath in. And you can try to lift up your feet. And out. And again, big breath in. And out. And one more time. And out. Good. And then we're all going to come back up. And what is this crew going to do next? Such an adventure. By now, it was way past my bedtime. But nobody tells pirates to go to bed, to take a bath, or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open, just in case. And 
they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to, except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. They're having a massive pillow fight. That sounded like fun to him, no rules. All right, so we're gonna grab our pillows and we're gonna have a pillow fight. So over here is a pillow, grab it, and then slam it down, and then grab another one, and slam it down, and one more time, on each side, and again, and out, and sit back down. Get ready for the next page. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Bray Bear to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he hollered, hollered. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew said. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books? I asked. Braidbeard looked and confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a good night's kiss. Oh. That's hard to not have anyone tuck you in and read you a story. Mm. So they're all snoring, those pirates. So we're gonna take a big breath in. And we're gonna go whoosh, whoosh. Big breath in. And out. Whoosh. One more time. Maybe try it with one eye open. Whoosh. Just like a real pirate. Hmm. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braybird shouted. Batten down the hatches. Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Yeah, that would be scary. It would be nice to have somebody sit and tell you everything's going to be okay. All right, we're going to hide from the storm. So we're going to come on our knees, put our hands on the ground, and then we're gonna bring our head to the ground in child's pose and let's hide from the storm. Big breath in, you can have your hands in front of you. A big breath out. Or you can bring your hands behind you. And out, or you can even just put your head on your arms. Big breath in. And out. That storm will be over soon, don't you worry. Just then, flash, crash, crack, lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. What'll we do now? Yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. Hmm, Jeremy Jacob is very helpful. All right, so we're gonna be the mass. The mass is the tall thing that the flag is on. So we're gonna take a big breath in and a big breath out. But then it's gonna split in half. So big breath in and out, and then the, the lightning comes and we split in half. And in and out. Great job, everybody sit back down.
When the storm was over, we moved back to shore and buried the set, the, rode back to shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it. Here's the map. And here's what they decided to do. This is Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. And here's the treasure. And it's right next to his favorite tree. And this is his house and his basketball court. He knows exactly where it is. It's right next to his tree. So everybody find something to look at on the floor that isn't moving. And you're going to do your tree pose. So either it's a baby tree, a kid tree, a teenager tree. Some of you might be able to do a parent tree. And some of you might be able to do a grandparent tree. Big breath in and out. And in and out. Lift it up and let's try the other side. Where is your tree going to be today? I'm going to try a kid tree on the side. Big breath in and out. And in and out. Good job. buried their treasure. They found the perfect digging spot right at Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. After that, the pirate prepared the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Braidbeard handed me a flag and said, you make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. And if you ever need us, Braidbeard added, just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Jolly Roger is the flag. Up yonder pole, the other shouted. Maybe I will, but not today. All right. We're going to pretend to be the flag up yonder pole. And we're going to watch that sail go away with its sails and its flag. So we're gonna make a triangle here with our bottom feet. So one foot is going one way and one foot is going the other. So our feet are like this. And then we're gonna reach, 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 reach. And we're gonna wave our flag up yonder pole. Big breath in and out and in and out. Good job, bring it up. Let's try the other side. Again, our feet look like this. Okay, big breath in, reach, 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 reach. Big breath out, bring up your flag and let it go in the air. Big breath in and out and in and out. Come all the way back up and sit back down. Not today, he has soccer practice. And the name of his team is the Pirates. He's a soccer player called the Pirates and he's kicking that ball. So we're going to come to the back of our space and we're gonna do a few big kicks, big breath in and kick and in and kick and in and kick and in and kick. And kick. Excellent job, everybody. Let's all turn off our lights. And it is time for us to make our bodies like my magic yoga brush. Okay. So it's very busy right now. But if I hold it still, it settles down. And if I move, it gets very busy again. Calm, busy, and then calm. So we're gonna pretend that I'm wiping a little bit on you. 
and we're going to lie down on our mat. You guys can turn on some good, nice music if you want. And you're going to take a big breath in and a big breath out. And in and out. Big breath in. Big breath out, letting our minds get as quiet as that yoga that's fresh did. Nice and calm. Hands can be on your belly or down by your side. Big breath in and out. Good job. Pretending that there's a Shavasana fairy with a magic yoga dust brush. Just putting a little bit on your head and a little bit on your shoulders, a little bit on your arms in your hands, each of your fingers. The yoga dust fairy is going to put some on your belly, on your legs, and your feet, and each of your toes. Yoga Dust Fairy is going to put a little bit on your chest. Then the Yoga Dust Fairy, Shavasana Fairy, is going to fly away, leaving your body relaxed head to toe. And then you're going to take a nice big breath in, bring your arms all the way up over your head. And a big breath out. Let's hug our knees. And then we're going to take a big breath in and sit up, crisscross applesauce. And we're going to bring our special kind hands back to our heart center. Let's think about somebody we love who needs a hug. Close your eyes, see their faces. Take a big breath in. Send them a hug. Beautiful. Let's do one more. Big breath in. Send them a hug. Excellent. Let's take our special kind hands back to our heart center. And we respect each other by having kind hearts. Can you guys say kind hearts? Kind hearts. Excellent. Let's take our hands to our mouth and remember to use our kind words. Kind words. Beautiful. And then we bring our hands to our forehead and remember to have kind thoughts. Say kind thoughts. Kind thoughts. And then we say namaste. The special and kindness in me sees the special and kindness in you. Thank you everybody for coming and doing yoga with me again today. This was so fun. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye my friends.